today, 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 baby, we have my boy, my homie, <laughs> up church, yo, you know he back getting these trolls, he trolling, and he getting them, when they troll him, he troll them, <laughs> Yo, nabbing and radishes. Yo, oh, I'm so ready for it, man, because Up Church is so funny, man. He's so funny. I'm ready for it. Yo, uh huh. This is for Market TV, and if it's your first time here, thank you so much for subscribing. And to all my ride or die, hey, thank y'all for always tuning in and coming back to back over and over again. Yeah, baby. Yo. Let's get into this thing. Like a chicken one. Eat that baby chicken, man. Yo, up, church. What you doing, bro? Same shit, different day. Sitting over here watching this cowboy dude walk through the woods with a fucking piece of paper that says R-H-E-C on it, looking at the camera all weird, wearing shell necklaces with Laotian tribal tattoos. What the hell? What are you doing <laughs> that for? I don't know. Looks like he's breaking up with me or some shit. Wait a minute. I don't know. It looks like he breaking up with me. Some shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it's like a Taylor Swift music video. Fucking Christ, dude! If I'm telling the teacher was a face, holy fuck. This is the face you make when you run off on the plug in the backwoods, like where the Amish live. You don't like run off with the bag. You like more so like nab a bundle of radishes or something. This dude nabbed a bundle of radishes, dog. So Ryan Upchurch, I called him out on not keeping his word. <laughs> Sorry, I was waiting for the tumbleweed to roll across the background. A little bit of that like Western whistling, you know? Can't whistle right now, have a dip in. Somebody else do it for me. You know, Ryan, I would have <laughs> called you and done this over the phone with you. But I blocked your number. <laughs> and then you block my numbers. Dude, there was this song back in the day. <laughs> so where else can I give you the apology other than here? Yeah, right. Where where else can I talk like American Dad and bitch about stuff so everyone can see it? I don't know, dude. I don't give a fuck what you do, to be real. I don't watch your stuff, fucking. I am so sorry for not calling you out for being a little poser. Fuck, man. What are we going to do if we don't have guys like this during the end of the world, right? I mean, fuck, dude. <laughs> Who's going to tell all these people who try to attack us, like, hey, you're a poser? Cause that'll fucking end everything, you know what I mean? They'll be like, oh fuck, he called me a poser. I gotta fucking, I gotta just pack up all my artillery and leave. You really think that you're gonna scam me out of thousands of dollars? Oh fuck, what? that must have slipped my mind. I, I forgot when I needed to steal $4,000 from you. So this $4,000 <laughs> you gave me, was it in a check form, PayPal? And I'm just gonna stay silent? Th th what I'm trying to tell you is I don't care whether you do or not. You know, I haven't talked to you in like over a year just because I don't want to, you know. Just going to totally ignore the situation like it never happened. Sweep me under the rug. <laughs> you think really highly of yourself, don't you? No offense, but you're not high on the list of important people in my life. You've never <laughs> been up against someone like me before. What, a guy who has a YouTube channel that talks about the news that everyone else talks about that everyone's sick of hearing? Darn. You got something to say? You're really upset that I called you out about something? Ain't this the guy that bitches about gaslighting? Ain't that what you're doing right now? I'm just saying. By the way, I found out about your video like hella late. Somebody asked me the other day, they were like, hey, did you see HDC's video? I thought they were talking like a video game or something. Find a gym <laughs> that has an octagon. 
We'll both sign waiver. Oh yeah, right. You, you were the boss. Well, welcome to fucking Walt Disney World. Go get in line, motherfucker. <laughs> with everybody else. Hell, I wouldn't have even made you wear gloves. I'll wear them. That way I don't mess up your face too much. <laughs> Good one. You see? Wait, where does all these trolls be coming from? What? Is it just for clout or if they, what, 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 somebody fill me in in the comments, man, because I don't know, dude. I don't know, fucking. <laughs> I don't know, man, because somebody, it seems like it's every week now. Every, every week, ever since I start, y'all told me about Up Church and getting me to react to his wonderful music man ever since then it's like everybody coming out of the woodworks they see he about to hit three milli baby he coming out of new he came out with a new album he got all these albums and i think they just trying to clout you know that's what i think mm -hmm. see i have to go back and forth with these people on the left because None of them would ever offer me to do what I just did to you. Yeah, like, what will I ever do if I don't take the opportunity from the fucking dude on YouTube who sits in the fucking bushes and dresses up like a kangaroo trapper? But hey, the offer is still open. If you do still have some country boy in that Black Lives Matter loving ass. <laughs> he wants to know if there's something in my ass, man. Weird. Oh, yeah. If you do still have some country boy in that Black Lives Matter loving ass. <laughs> Dude, there's a guy named Heavy Duty that wants to know if there's a country boy in my ass. What the fuck? Yeah, they're not gonna let you live that one down. <laughs> Badass country boy who spends 200 grand plus a year on security. That's about as country as Paris Hilton blowing Sleepy Joe. Yeah, damn man, what a wonderful joke. All right, anyway, come here, look. <laughs> just, just, just come here, man. Yeah. <laughs> I do spend two hundred thousand dollars a year on security. Sure do. For my mom and my brothers, but for myself, no. Hell, I'm walking out to the street right now. You see any security guards anywhere? Huh? Oh wait, where you at, church? In the middle of the fucking street. Because clearly Ryan is letting Sleepy Joe bend him over now. You really got a thing with guys bending over other guys, don't you? Cowboy. This next clip he took so serious, bro. It's funny. Stop telling me to say, let's go, Brandon. I just feel like it's kind of, you know, making me dumber. Let's <laughs> go, Brandon. You're doing great. You're doing great. Now you tell me how dumb that makes someone saying that after I'm done with this entire video. Yeah, everyone's really excited to watch you sit in the field. It's fucking exhilarating. Like, what is he gonna do next? Surely he's not gonna sit in a field again. All right, so for those of you who don't know, <laughs> which is gonna be a lot of people, like right. 2.3 million people to be exact. Ooh, Honey Nut Cheerios. He invites me out to Tennessee to hang out and to do whatever. I ended up going with the only intention of hanging out. Maybe doing a few videos together, just having some fun. And when I'm there, we talk about this old song that I did. <laughs> Do you fucking hear yourself, you big dumb fuck? I came there with the only intention of hanging out. But, I mean, we could make some videos. And then, and then I did tell them about my music, you know? But, you know, my only intention was to hang out. Not to, not to use him for every goddamn thing he's able to do. That I didn't spend that much time on, didn't really put a whole bunch of effort into it. And I thought it was terrible. Who the fuck walks up to somebody like, hey man, I have this song that I made. It's fucking horrible. Wanna listen to it? <laughs> and he's like, no man, you just need the right guidance. Let me introduce you to my producer. Uh, yeah, dipshit, that's called a favor. I listened to your track. I didn't wanna discourage you. So I pointed you in a direction to someone who could possibly help you because your song sounded like shit. He wanted me to meet up. Bro, this dude's attitude is like fucked up. Huh? Right. You hear how he just said that? He wanted me to meet him. Hold up, hold up. I just gotta say this. Don't you just love those late nights and you get hungry and you be wanting some cereal? 
Like, I, I can picture it right now. <laughs> he wanted me to meet up. No, dude. You needed help with music stuff because you don't know shit about it. I was trying to give you the guidance from someone who knows every fucking thing. Anyways, months go by and it's time for me to go to Tennessee to record. And all of a sudden, Ryan Upchurch's word becomes a big pile of cow shit. If I'm helping you and you ain't got no skin in the game, you're on my time, buddy. I'm not on your time. Look at everything I've done. You're on my time. Hey man, it's time to record. <laughs> Do those dates work for you? November 10th, 11th, and 12th. Let me know if those dates work for you, man, and I'll book a flight. I get a response back. Who is this? Look, I get mistakes happen. People flop on their word all the time. But it's not about the mistakes you make in life, it's how you own them. Since when do cowboys get mad that other men don't have their numbers saved in their phone? When I called Ryan out for being nowhere to be found and me being fed up with it. Look, dude. Yeah, dude, 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 who, who is he? HDC. First of all, you know Ryan up church probably didn't save your phone. You shouldn't, phone number. You should have known that. Just in case, you should have said, hey, this is such and such. Came out to your place and we chopped it up and you introduced me to the producer and it's, and I was trying to set up the dates. People just don't know how to talk to people. Dude, I'm already taken fucking, but you need to go find a boyfriend because that's what you're explaining <laughs> that you need. Like, dude, listen to him. When I, I called him out because when I called for him, he wasn't anywhere to be found. <laughs> What kind of cowboy are you for like what state you think you're so holy that you think i'm gonna let you gaslight me and just bow down to you gaslight me. look at my face tell me if i'm lying i forgot you existed dude <laughs> yeah i don't watch your stuff clearly you underestimated this shit out of me <laughs> he thinks i have the time to estimate or underestimate him Damn, that's cute. Because I don't care who you are, I don't care what you do. I as long as you love me. If you give me your word on something and it doesn't mean shit, I'm gonna call you out. Here's the thing, dumbass. People in the real world don't fucking care. Right. We don't fucking care out here. Look at my YouTube. I'm with my friends doing fun shit. You sit in a fucking field and bitch about the same shit every day of your fucking life your life is fucking boring oh my god so i'm gonna rent out a go-kart arena for us i don't know how much it is but it, it's gonna be a lot it was only a thousand dollars i'm gonna pick her up in my lambo so like you're mad about me picking up girls in badass cars <laughs> do you want to ride in their seat what's the deal do you think someone like me is impressed by fucking lambos in your head, do you want me to impress you? What the fuck are you saying, dude? Seen you pick that girl up in that car. You think I'm impressed? Well, I'd rather you not <laughs> fight with a female for my front seat of my car. And the fact that you can rent out a go-kart arena? I kick shit around all day. Yeah, because kicking shit around all day sounds way more fun than go-karts with your friends. This is the first country dude who's like, man, it must be impossible to rent a, a go-kart track. Hello, have you never been to like, you know, anywhere? You get five buddies to race with because you need people to race with. If it's a thousand dollars and you have five friends, you all pay 200 bucks. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> you get to race. You see my hat? It's got more dirt on it than your boots have had in the past two years. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm 30, I don't reply well to shit like that anymore and then everyone blocks me gee i wonder why it's okay keep my four grand we'll call it charity well i'm just gonna call it what it is invisible because you never gave me four thousand dollars and you were probably upset that my views on america don't change like the wind i don't know your views man I, so i wouldn't know if they changed or not <laughs> with the wind <laughs> ryan is smooching black lives matters ass look who's on his new album boozy badass damn son you really ain't got nothing to talk about do you imagine the television brainwashing you so fucking much you think that because someone does a song with a black artist they automatically 
or kissing the ass of some fucking huge organization. Did it ever occur to you that maybe some people don't waste their entire day with their face in their phone watching like CNN and stuff and whatever else there is? He's also known as the biggest race baiting black life. Blah, 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 clickbait, clickbait, whatever. I don't fucking give a shit. What if I didn't see it with my own eyes, then about. I don't fucking care, dude. We're not robots, okay? Not everybody has to be like you, dude. It, we live in America. If you want to go hang out with people who think and dress and walk and do everything you do, then go do that. But I'm not that fucking person. I don't give a fuck about politics. I don't give a fuck about what he said, she said. I don't, I just don't care. I live <laughs> out here in the fucking real world. I don't give a fuck what goes on here. And we right. all know you had him on the album to reach a new crowd of people, AKA the black population. Oh my God. Now, not the fact that he's a fucking legendary southern rapper. Oh my god. This dude is an imbecile. Boozy badass on looting during the George Floyd protest. I'm a musician. Do I look like a fucking politician to you? Bro, I got chipped <laughs> teeth. I got kitchen tattoos. I ride around till 2 o'clock in the morning in muscle cars smoking fucking weed. I'm not having brunch with Al Gore trying to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do about global warming. All these people who are listening to your album who are mainly white, just know that there's a dude who was allowed to be on his album that's still deciding if your life matters. You realize that more than half of those white fans grew up bumping boosy, stupid? This is why you don't talk about shit you don't know about. Right. Which is why I quit talking about politics, because I'm not a politician. Or what about that song, Ryan, that Boosie made called Fuck the Police? What about it? Isn't your <laughs> drummer's wife a cop? Yeah. Ask her what she thinks of you working with a guy who wrote a song that said fuck the police. I can guarantee you she probably does not give a single shit. Is, is this how your fucking brain works? You think just because she's a <laughs> cop, she's gonna be like, you know, I've been thinking a lot lately about my husband's friend's friend's song he wrote fucking 15 years ago. You know people do have shit to do, right? Boosie is also a dude who was named in a murder for hire plot. Yeah, everyone who listens to hip hop already fucking knows this. You didn't figure out anything. There you go, Ryan. There's your apology. What? Your life seems great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, y'all. Man, like real. Your apology. <laughs> this guy here, y'all. Man. He. Where did he come from? Because I'm confused. I'm confused. Let me know down in the comments because it sounds like this story he untold. Why everybody who tells a story or have something to say about Upchurch got to have on sunglasses? I mean, I know it's sunny outside. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but you got a hat on. Take the glasses off and just put on um, the hat so keep the sun out. We got to see your eyes because it sounds like you done. You wrote this story. Well, you had, boy, that, you burnt that up, that paper up. <laughs> Man, I'm up out of here. Yo, you know who's going to be down in the description box? Up Church, his channel. So make sure you go over there and make, get him. I'm just, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> get over there and help get him the three milli mil, baby. Yo. Make sure you subscribe here, because when you do, put your requests, and I'll oblige for my TV out. Peace.